This is Darth Ravage 07 coming at you again with another Transformers quick review tonight of the Siege class fan voted uh, mass release of Mirage. Mirage is a Cybertronian race car here. You got the combat ports you could possibly put his excellent weapons up on the top there. I choose not to. He has a nice looking clear through see through blue on his cockpit area there if you spin around you see the faux uh engine block there for the chest and robot mode but i'm okay with that i love the way these intakes uh represent the engine and i really think the designers for doing such a good job with this this guy rolls as rolling things should uh it rolls extremely well not on my reviewers table here but um i've had a lot of fun with this i've kept it at work with me uh for the most part just showing it off to the different folks that are fans of g1 stuff and and uh one guy just like he's come by playing with my transformers figures that i have there at my desk uh in between his break and in work and lunch and whatnot anyway um uh, these uh this guy costed $19.99, like with any other the deluxe retail figures. And I uh, just love how they even got the Cybertronian to look semi like the old Satanis, C I T A N E S, but this is it. And uh, Cybertronian and the number's 2 6. Uh, I've also got the hologram version of this with the G1 accurate head uh hologram form and i've just pretty much just put that figure back up inside of this guy's box and to keep it safe and i'll not probably transform it too much more uh here's to hoping that we get like an earth rise with the other head with the more earthy uh sponsorship stuff and or a retool of this guy and for the earth mode instead of a cybertronian uh, but this is really cleverly done with the spoiler and whatnot all right i'm gonna get this pause get this guy back into his robot mode and then finish off the review thanks again for watching and to the magic of the pause and here is mirage in his most excellent robot mode uh, we had a Mirage from Generations in 2006. That was a really nice uh, rendition of Mirage. With it. His head was a little bit tiny. This head is not tiny. Uh, we've got him in a really cool pose with his ankle rockers there. He's got thigh swivel, knee hinge. I didn't think at, at first that this would uh, clean up as good as it did, but it actually does. Uh, these wheels don't bother me as bad as I thought it would. I love how there's no empty because everything is maximized and and used the, the race wheels went in there you have shields from the spoiler on his uh, upper arms and just a really great looking figure the only thing and he's got waist articulation the one thing that if you've watched any of my other uh, 41 reviews that i'm going to whine about right now is there is no wrist swivel with this guy this should be something incorporated into every deluxe i mean <laughs> here, here, here's here's a hat tip to earth rise as this little fella has wrist swivel and a big gun and this guy does not have wrist swivel um this is one of my i guess that's one of my pet peeves that's where i want to break down and whine and cry i guess and try to rant whenever they don't add it but uh, everything else about this figure is uh, of almost a, ma a retail masterpiece quality. Uh, I love how the transformation goes from both modes and just kind of give you a group shot and show you how good these do look good together. Here is Earthrise Wolf Jack standing side by side. And of course, see uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime. I mean, these other figures have wrist swivel, waist articulation, the whole nine yards, ankle rockers. Uh, even Cliff Jumper's big feet doesn't appear to be as obnoxious in person as it, it looks in pictures on videos. 
uh, it's just keep making these guys keep don't take a step back on you know your engineering Hasbro and I'm starting to sound like Sheffertron a little bit but it was actually through Shardimus Prime uh, his excitement for the Netflix series he gets to take all the you know YouTube press that goes to the toy fair gets a, a figure to, to take home if they go to the Hasbro uh, press event and I hope to make it there next year uh, Lord willing uh, I want these guys inspire me to do what I'm doing my reviews are short quick and to the point if you want to go check out an awesome video reviewer Shardimus he's great he does Marvel's Legends he does he does everything it doesn't matter and he does an honest opinion about it uh, tells you straight up but then he also does uh, I love his stop motions with uh, Big Time Let Down Spider-Man uh, some of the funniest skits me and my son will sit there and we'll, we'll be in a bad mood and come on hey it's time to watch some Shardimus and so we'll watch his little skits on uh, Big Time Let Down as he reviews of the figures and stuff and, and Shardimus has fun doing what he's doing and he's making a living at home I'm hoping this is something that will turn out with my short and quick reviews uh, as we keep you know promoting each other uh, across the this Copa thing or whatever is going on with YouTube and uh, get through this and uh, I, I am uh, I'm just thrilled to be able to do this uh, these days I'm in my new house and trying to you know make a living myself uh, with that said uh, if you like this video uh, go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my channel ring that doorbell for the opportunity to see all the new stuff that content I'll be coming out with. I'm doing a couple of variations coming up. Uh, this is like my 42nd uh, video, so on the 50th, I've got a, a plan for another sub channel. Uh, and I hope you'll tune into that 50th uh, video review to, to help me, you know, uh, get this channel off the ground and I have some stuff to share with you. Uh, on that 50th video so no spoilers on you know what that is but uh it, it's a it's a it's my, it'll be my 50th toy review uh with my YouTube, very young youtube channel and uh thanks again to all those other guys that have subscribed to me already and hats off to chart hats off to uh uh other folks that i mentioned uh, along the youtube family and uh hopefully uh I'll be able to get my sample and go home and, you know, rage about how awesome it is with the excitement of that Netflix series coming up for Transformers uh, or for Cybertron and it's six episodes coming up hopefully here in June. We'll have some more to, to rage about, to be excited about. Like, I've got just like every Siege figure except for the, uh, the exclusive uh, weaponizers. Those are the only ones I'm lacking right now. I've just got to get back out there online and, and get those ordered and then I'll have a 100% complete siege line. Uh, thanks again for watching my video, did all that stuff. Also, please hit me up if you've looked through my website, mbuckner.cruisesinc.com. My phone number's there. If you'd like to take your family on a very nice vacation, they've got some packages. Promos run all the time up to the time that you would go on your cruise or go on your vacation, so please uh, allow me to, to assist with uh, scheduling that next awesome dream vacation. Have an excellent night, and be safe until all are one. Thanks.